What's up, YouTube? I'm Robert, and today I'm gonna tell you a little story about how I have a screw loose. I turned 45 this morning when I woke up. 45, what do you know? And I decided, you know, Downeyville sounds fun, and shuttles, those are fun, but something is wrong with me. So today, instead of taking a shuttle, I'm gonna climb. <laughs> For those of you not around here, let me fill you in on how dumb of an idea that is. Downeyville is deep in the Sierra Nevada mountains and is well known for its 15 mile downhill run. That, as I mentioned before, is typically a shuttle. Let's be a little more clear about this shuttle. It's 23 miles and takes about 45 minutes in the van. A long time ago, one of my buddies asked me if I wanted to climb Downeyville and I truly thought that he lost his marbles. From that time, it planted a little seed in my head that just kept growing and growing until we get to the day of my 45th birthday and apparently now I have lost my marbles too. You, me, and probably every other sane person out there is wondering the same thing. The short answer is because it's hard. Don't get me wrong, I love smashing downhill. Take one look at me. I'm not your typical skinny mountain biker that loves to climb. However, what I do enjoy is the feeling of accomplishment. When you were a kid, the first time you climbed to the top of that big hill on your BMX bike without getting off the walk, you felt amazing. I think as an adult, some of the reason that we get into this sport is to chase that feeling. In addition to that feeling, I also love the sense of adventure, of doing something new, something for the first time. Maybe even something you're a little scared of. I like to joke about how much I hate climbing, but there's a little voice inside of me that really enjoys it. So there's nothing like something super challenging to prove you're alive. Let's do it. So in celebration of somehow staying alive for 45 years, I wanted to feel that sense of accomplishment, that fear, and all of that truly just because it's hard. With that being said, Misery loves company and I enlisted a few of my friends with a few screws loose as well. This is a terrible idea. <laughs> Whoever thought of this, you should, I shouldn't be here. Josh rocking the hard tail. Apparently he hates himself more than I do. I don't know what you're worried about, man. This climb's fine. Yeah, everything's great. Especially since I think we're descending right now. Yeah, we are. So this is one of those things where you get an idea in your head and you just can't let it go. Today's ride will be about 5,000 feet. I feel like it's gonna be about 4K of climbing to get up there and you're gonna earn the last thousand on our way back down. It's a big day. I'm excited and nervous at the same time. According to Strava, I was right. It was 4K of climbing right to where the shuttle drops you off. There were a few other variables I wasn't planning for. First, it was much warmer than I expected. And what turned out to be the biggest obstacle oh of all God. was the gnats were out in an overwhelming abundance. The gnats are relentless. I would love to say that we were all prepared for that, but clearly it wasn't the case. <laughs> I'm actually already jealous. Look at the gnats. You I know, see them they're all over. Around his face. It's, I feel so much better about this decision. <laughs> One of us was, and the rest of us, we had to improvise. At this point, we're uh, about an hour and a half in, and this is what we have resorted to. <laughs> not gonna get me. Having my gnat swatting cardio going on over here. Raw dogging it over there, no helmet. Great. Yeah. Aren't you glad you flew down for this? So happy. <laughs> Stupid idea. All of a sudden, I feel like my life is good again. <laughs> I can't tell you how nice it is to not be swatting gnats right now. This is good. I like this. I don't care how ridiculous it looks. Honestly, the pitch hasn't been bad. And uh, it's just been a pretty like mellow pedal. If it wasn't for the, the gnats, I wouldn't say it's enjoyable because it is a climb, but it's not that bad at all. <sighs> About 2,500 feet in, what is it? 11, 12 miles? Like yeah. <laughs> we got quite a ways to go. I feel fantastic. Yeah? Yeah. Loving your life, huh? Yeah, I mean, I haven't had to deal with bugs, so. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> What's the verdict? A million bucks, baby. Minus the gnats. Those, those are pretty bad. 
let's be honest, this fucking sucks. <laughs> Making our way. Looks like the climb steps up a little bit right about now. Overall, motivation's high, but whew, legs are definitely feeling it. It's like, this will not be the longest mountain bike ride I did, nor the most elevation I've done. But this is definitely gonna be the like longest consecutive climb I've done. So you just are nonstop climbing, even though it's not super steep. You're just engaged, engaged, engaged. All right. I need to put the bug force field back on because those bastards are mean. Look at this thing. Just ridiculous. So here you go. Just solid climbing, nonstop. And then something glorious happened. Welcome to Downeyville. <laughs> oh my God, I think I'm in the 10 tooth. All right, that was the big downhill for the last 13 miles. Very, very exciting. If you would have told me 10 years ago that I would be climbing Downeyville, I would tell you you're a fool. Dude, there's absolutely no reason, no reason to do that. And uh, here we are. When I started the weight loss journey, I really thought I had to be 220 to be in the riding shape that I was before. Apparently, that's not true. I don't think I've ever been this riding fit in my life. And I'm still 40 pounds away from my goal. By the way, the legs are like pre-cramping right now. We're like right just shy of 3,000 feet of climbing. So there should be roughly 2,000 more feet throughout the day. So that makes me a little nervous. I feel like I haven't been mining my hydration correctly. All right, back to the grind. So Nat's not recommended and neither are El Camino's. Not supposed to have theirs up here. How about that? Oh, it's so sad when you see how little the dot moves. <laughs> Almost 3,700 feet. Definitely feeling it. I've gone from hating the gnats to hating my taint. So things are moving along nicely. <laughs> Still fighting the cramps. 15 and a half miles in. I wish I had something emotionally uplifting or really poignant to say, but instead all I'm thinking about is how beautiful the top of that hill is going to look whenever I'm rolling up, seeing where the shuttle drops people off. Just kind of locked in on that. I'm hoping that once we get to the top and kind of changing those muscle groups on what I'm descending with, like loosens the legs up and I'm not so crampy, but I'm, I'm being real with myself right now. I'm thinking the downhill is gonna be a chore. Almost out of water, glad I brought my filter. Last push? I would think. I'm, just, I'm looking forward to the, the creek water party, man. 4,000! <laughs> oh, that just felt good for no freaking reason. <laughs> what you're watching here is demoralizing. Essentially what's happening is we're descending down this road so we can make the last half mile of this climb, the steepest, most punchy, worst part. And um, for absolutely no reason, all I was thinking was you're looking at the hill to the side. And if this trail just went straight instead of descending, we would be done, but instead, we're just gonna make it worse. Well, kids, we're 17 miles in, and uh, I can tell you earlier, I actually got annoyed with the sound of gravel under my tires. I'm pure, purely over climbing that freaking fire road. So to be on the pavement right now is actually, in the, it's a good thing. It makes me happy.
Right about now is when I'll remind you to take a look around when you're out riding. It's really easy to get focused on what you're doing and not take in where you're doing it. 45. This is definitely a different way to celebrate my birthday compared to like, I don't know, 20 years ago. <laughs> Big difference. It was a di whole different kind of pain cave I was in back then. <laughs> Locking into the pain train. All aboard. Well, the cramping's kicked in. Ooh, they come in waves. Oh God, just pedal through it. Really excited to be here right now. I mean, aside from it being the top of the climb, it's really something else for me to be in a physical place where I can even think about doing this. Hopefully this can be a motivation to one of you guys out there. Pick something that sounds ridiculous and do it. It feels good. Oh my God. I think we're there. There you go. Right there's where the shuttle drops you off. How you feeling birthday boy? You made Scott it. Rob. I feel like a shuttle would have been smarter. So that's pretty typical of me. Um, I'm always using humor to maybe deflect my emotions. And that moment of getting to the top of that hill, it really meant a lot to me. And maybe that's one of those things that means more once you reflect on it. But I think there's a part of it where it's like, you're there, you're in front of all your buddies. Like, it's not really gonna sink in until later. I never thought, I, I never thought that I would be a guy that could tell people that he climbed to the top of Downeyville. It just sounds ridiculous. And looking back on that moment, I'm definitely more sentimental about it than just cracking a joke and moving on. It, it meant a lot. How did that go compared to what you thought it was gonna be like? Uh, I mean, you know, I, I knew that it was gonna be a lot of climbing it was just it was continuous yeah there's no break in in like the pitch and it wasn't like there was hard pitch to it except for like right at the end here but yeah it's rough on the butt yeah the taint ain't happy no josh was it worth flying from washington uh the downhill i think will be worth it it was exactly as as i expected except for the gnats i did not expect that <laughs> <laughs> but it was good i'll tell you right now Whichever person or mountain biking group decided to make this stool. It's a bench, not a stool. Okay, well, I am at a lack of words right now. I don't have Jesus leading my vocabulary. <laughs> Whoever made this bench right here is amazing, thank you. I would love to donate to your charity. Please put it in the comment, like, and subscribe. <laughs> Eighteen and a half miles, 4,300 feet later, we are doing the Downeyville downhill. I am definitely not in a state of mind where I'm like trying to freaking hammer show this, but I actually feel pretty good. Let's see how I feel in a couple miles of downhill. There's definitely been a few rumblings through the video of us talking about water. And I think that during the climb, we're all slowly realizing that we're underprepared. Before we started downhill, we all drank the last of our water. 
Fortunately, I brought a water filter, and those streams you normally smash right through became a lifesaver. If you go on big backcountry rides, I highly recommend picking up one of the two filters I have linked in show more. I don't know how many of you have ridden by that spot and just smashed through that pedal and been like, man, that sucks, I'm getting my feet wet. Today, I love that puddle. Best puddle in Downeyville. With my bottles filled up, I set off to find the guys and hook them up as well. Did you stop and get water? Yes. You want some? Yeah, please. Please. Oh my God. So good, right? <laughs> oh my God. It's already a party here. <laughs> Once the anxiety of dehydration lifted, we were back to making our way down the hill. Although the DH sections went well, any part with a slight uphill was much more of an effort than when shuttling. Before we knew it, we were at the gorge and with tired legs, we still had the energy to tackle the obstacle and then move on to the chunkiest part of the descent. Hey Robert, people on YouTube are gonna think this isn't a big deal. Explain, why is it so hard? I think it's just because like coming down that first section is kind of chunky. It's it definitely looks way chunkier than it looks. And you have to fight to like not hit your brakes there. And in my opinion, in the middle, if you can lay down a crank or two, it, it's just really about coming up fast. Yeah. Dropping. That's right, Josh up there, rocking the hardtail in the jank. <laughs> oh, his hamstrings are beat. You know, like this is the waterfall. Whoa! Sometimes the waterfall works out the first try. Sometimes you need to session. One way or another, the goal is to have fun. Oh, he's picking a new line. Oh. So if you pin it, right on. And if you have to walk, it's always better to do that than to get hurt. Yeah, give her. Besides, there's still plenty of downhill, so don't get in your head about 50 feet of the trail you didn't ride. Yes. Yeah. Congratulations. That turn was janky. Oh, that was good though. Dude. We're on our way to Polly Creek so we can get some water. Everybody is thirsty. Like I said at the beginning, it was way hotter than we all expected. And thank God for the filter. I've ridden this trail pretty destroyed a few times, but I would say this is probably a different level of tired. Yes. And we ride the bike. Everybody's full locked in on pizza. So everybody's super worried about whether or not we're gonna get to town in time for the pizza. Man, I tell you what, this is fun, but it, it's tiring. But this, it was like, you're zonked, and then you get to enjoy it, but at that point, the descent is so long that we're all just like, bonked. <laughs> this is the part. That's gonna destroy the legs. You did it! Oh my god. Oh, I hate everything. Basically 27 miles, 4,700 feet. Dropping into third divide. Woo! Woo! Oh god. Whew. Legs are fried. Whew. It's not a biker ride without a hiker bike. 
As we dropped into the last segment called First Divide, I knew we had a short pedal with a couple small climbs back to town. Knowing how close we were really helped block how destroyed I was feeling. The thought that in just a few minutes we'd be eating pizza and having beers made everything feel like it was easily obtainable. Whew, my body is just wrecked. That was, uh, that was hard. As we wrap this video up, I want you guys to remember the motto of this channel. It only takes a bike to be a biker. So use this video as motivation. Think of something stupid, go grab your bike, and get out and be one. What are you thinking, Josh? I feel great, man. Let's go for another another run. Do it again. All right. And uh, somebody sing, please. <laughs> I got lights in the bag. Let's do it. 10K. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> that about says it. <laughs>